This was a question one in a GCSE higher paper sat by students two years ago and it stumped many of them because they didn't know how to address it. Would you be able to? <laughs> Let's take a look, boy. So dividing decimals by decimals is no easy feat, but we can change the way it's written by remembering that division just means fraction, something divided by something. So if I say it's 8.46 divided by 0 0.15, instead of, instead of devising, <laughs> instead of dividing by 0 0.15, I could multiply it by 100 to move the decimal place twice and become 15. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 100. I need to do it to the numerator as well. And when we multiply both numbers by 100, the decimal place will move twice, 846 divided by 15. Now, because we're dealing with fractions, we can do something cool, which is to simplify the fractions and give us something much easier to deal with. Now, 846, I notice is divisible by 3, because 15 is 3 and 5. I'm obviously not going to try 5. 8 plus 4 plus 6 gives me 18, which is divisible by 3, which means this number is divisible by 3 as well. How many 3s go into 846? 3 goes into 8 twice, with a remainder of 2. 3 goes into 24 8 times. 3 goes into 6 twice. So I can rewrite this division as 282 divided by 5. All right, how many 5s go into 282? 5 does not go into 2. 5 goes into 28 5 times, with a remainder of 3. 5 goes into 32 6 times with the remainder of 2 because 5 times 6 is 30. But I need to extend into the decimals now. Add a 0 here. The 2 carries over. 5 goes into 20 4 times and this is our solution. What do you guys think about this question? Nice. Follow me for more crazy mass content like this. <laughs>